What's up, everybody? PJ Braun here, president of Blackstone Labs, and we're standing outside of Biz Body Fitness Premium in East Boca, and I am with the All-American Barbie. Tell everybody your real name. Courtney Icorn. And you have not come out of nowhere, but you've moved real fast, so you got your pro card at USA's. Yes. And you're obviously in the tallest class. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm 5'11". So 5'11". A lot of people tell me that I look like not as tall as I am and then they see me in person and they're like, holy crap. <laughs> no, she's tall and then with the heels on on stage, how tall are you with your stage heels? Like 6'3". <laughs> so it's, it's, the taller you are really, the harder it is to fill your frame out, but she's actually filmed, filled her frame very impressively, especially she's already known for her glutes. And in fact, some of the judges I think actually said to maybe chill out with your glutes a yes, little bit. Yes, they were too much, getting a little too much there. <laughs> but that's okay where we come from. So we're gonna actually do a glute workout today. So I'm actually gonna let her take us through the workout. I'm gonna throw out some educational stuff because you guys don't wanna see me train. And we're gonna see what Courtney does for her glutes as she is getting ready to leave for where? Scottsdale, Arizona, Tim Gardner Productions. Oh, this weekend. She just keeps on going. But <laughs> I, uh, I've been calling her uh, Miss First Call Out because first call out every time. Boom, 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 boom. And she's right in the mix. And we know that first pro win's coming soon. Maybe it'll be this weekend. We will oh, see. it will be this weekend. Oh, the confidence. That's <laughs> confidence. All right, well, let's go get into it. So what she's doing right now is her warm-up. Uh, it's actually not easy, uh, but the bands doing these adductions and walking forward and backward like that, they're activating the glute muscle to fire more. So that way when she goes and gets into her exercises, she gets muscle recruitment right away. And the muscle is, I hate using the word warm-up, but the muscle's ready to fire. Um, rather than just going in there cold, you'll get, not only will you get more recruitment, but you'll be able to get into your actual working sets a little easier like this. This is a very smart thing to do, especially if you're gonna be focusing specifically on glutes, or if your glutes are just a weaker body part and you wanna get a little bit more activation on another day, you can do this kind of stuff also. It's just great to add it. to get that good glute squeeze at the top so you're activating your glute muscle, especially your upper glute and your tie in where your hamstring connects to your glutes. Those pauses are really gonna help you fill that mind muscle connection. Do you always do the, uh, the band when you do these also? No, the band is more to get more of the outside glute region, which is what we're trying to work on today. Outside glutes get that nice round Did top. you always have good glutes? Yes. <laughs> Honestly, genetically, I had great glutes. Even my first show that I did, I won my first show that I ever competed in. And I won it from the back. <laughs> well, shows are won from the back. We talk yeah. about that all the time, so. Um, but I did work extremely hard to get my glutes to the level that they are. And there's been a lot that's gone into it diet-wise, lifting-wise, hours and hours and hours and hours. It doesn't just happen overnight. change your sets and reps a lot off season versus pre contest? Not with my legs. My legs and glutes blow up too much. So really I'm doing a lot of plyo work, which is, it's not as fun. Of course. But you have to train like how you want to look. Of course. And that's the whole point in bodybuilding. <laughs> yeah, well, I've uh, had these discussions with Frida Paulson, also known for how good her legs and butt are, and she's had to do mostly just body weight stuff because genetic, genetically she just grows fast in those areas. So don't hate on genetics, guys. You know, there's people that get very jealous when people have body parts that respond really well, but everyone also has that genetic area that doesn't respond. Um, and they have to put the extra work in there. So don't hate on genetics. And my upper body was my area I had to work on. was not blessed my upper body. <laughs> well, you're very balanced now. Yeah, I know, after years, that's for sure.
sometimes when you see people training the same body parts in these videos, I may get a little bit redundant with the things that I say, but when you're doing all of your glute exercises, hip thrusts, whatever, you wanna make sure you drive through your heels always. Super, super important to properly fire the glute muscle. The force needs to come through your heel when you press. So if you're doing these exercises and you're starting coming all up and down, you start getting that knee flexion, and you start engaging the quads more and you're taking the tension away. Super, super important tip. It's easier to stay more upright. Oh yeah, instead of like leaning. The main thing that, that you don't want to do when you're doing any kind of plie squat or goblet squat or sumo deadlift, as I see people all the time, is you don't want to be moving your torso back and forth. You want to be fixed in that same position no matter what. Because if you're coming down and you're moving through your hips and your torso, you're engaging your erectors too much and one wrong move like that and you can hurt your lower back. So being totally upright is, is the most important. I definitely hurt myself <laughs> before it went straight. The form is really good. Straight leg dads definitely hurt my Have you ever back. done like a true, like oh, an actual yeah. true plie squat with your feet all the way out? See, that it, it, for, for me is my favorite way to do them, but it's it's very tricky because you have to be like, if you ever watch like a ballerina do an actual plie, their feet are all the way out like this. So what you do is you let your you let your knees just keep going over your toes. You're just like, like a plie. You're really flexible. <laughs> I'm really not though. So here, face me. So go back into that position. So what you do is as you're sitting back, you let your knees come all the way out. It works the inner thighs more also. Oh like god. I can so, feel it in my glutes. Yeah, you know, you'll feel in your glutes a lot. It's it's a glute exercise, but sometimes when I see people that are have an imbalance here, especially like through their their, their adductors and needing that thickness in here, yeah, this, this exercise hits, hits that. So the true plie hits that a little bit more. I have to be careful with my inside because I'm tend to be really thick right here. Even though I stop doing these movements completely. It's just like where I hold a lot of muscles, my legs. You'll get a lot of activation doing this. See, now she's working. <laughs> See the muscles shaking? Awesome. Good. Keep all the force through your heels the whole time, pushing your heel. Holy shit. Good. Force through your heel. Good. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> the legs are shaking. That's good. You're hitting the muscles in a way that she's not used to. There are so many competitors that are good that don't get to ever turn professional. Then there are so many really good pros that don't ever get in the top five. So being in there right away, I, I told her is a very, very, very great, great start. And showing up and being consistent and making those small improvements, I have no doubt in my mind that she'll be an Olympia competitor very soon. I didn't even know I could squat this way. But that is very... <laughs> I'm like daddy long leg. <laughs> when a judge is looking at a physique, what really, really, really stands out is the separation of the muscles. And part of that, of course, is having a lower level of body fat, but you have to train and isolate the muscles the right way to get them to get to that level of separation. Also, I know people don't like to hear this, some people just genetically don't have as deep separation in their muscles in certain areas, and some people do. 
And that, when you put in the hard work, genetics and everything else, is what really, really makes a physique stand out on stage. They're gonna stay in that position. You're gonna drive the force to the back of the inside of your heel, straight up towards your butt. You're gonna feel it on the inside of your hamstring all the way up to your glute a lot more. It's a very cool variation. But you have to keep your legs together like that. Oh God. Mermaid, it's a mermaid. Story. Your feet are gonna like this the whole time. Okay. Not going in and out. You're staying much up like this. And the force is coming through your heel all the way in. So you have to keep your legs together. All the way together. Keep yourself up, up a little bit farther. Yeah. There you go. And then you're gonna drive through here, just like I said, all the way up. Come up a little faster. Down slow. And we made it lighter. Come on. Keep your feet flexed up like this. Up, up, up. Come on. Good. And done. <laughs> it's crazy how much more your hands fired out on that. You'll see when you watch the video. And made it lighter. See how variation when you're not used to doing things, how much more challenging it can be. That's why I encourage you guys to try different techniques, try different things. I mean, Charles Glass made himself super, super famous by changing around the way that people do things. So just because an exercise is designed to be a certain way doesn't mean there aren't variations for it. How'd that feel? That was hard. That was probably the hardest hamstring exercise I've ever done. <laughs>